Construction is taking over the plaza. Good evening and welcome to CTV News. I'm Ryan Avery. And I'm Carrie Lundering. Control of the Senate has been up in the air all day, but I guess now we know. But breaking news, the Democrats have taken the Senate after Jim Webb won the Senate seat for Virginia. They are now currently sitting at 51 Democrats and 49 Republicans. The House and Senate were not the only things that woke up to change this morning in Washington. There has also been a major shift in the President Bush's cabinet, and we'll fill you in after the break. And CTV reporter Tara Demon is outside on the plaza. She'll bring us the five-day forecast coming up next. Our local community has been filling the CSU Oval with cans for the hunger for over 18 years. And last year, 117,000 pounds were collected to distribute. This year, the giving has reached an all-time high, and reporter Dominic Garcia was at the Oval today to collect the story. Well, the football team didn't come home from Colorado Springs with a win. Did you watch the game? I didn't, but I did hear the bad news. So. Hey, it's okay, though, because another CSU team did. And to find out who, stay with us. And as we saw earlier, the snow is falling outside. Yep. We'll tell you just how long that's going to last with your five-day forecast. Stay tuned. Now we have today's leading international news stories, and this is CTV's Minute Around the World. All right, so we've been talking a lot about elections and politics, but what's it going to mean for us? Well, tomorrow night on CTV News, we're going to talk to a political science professor who what, and see what he thinks about these late changes in our government. It's going to be some interesting insight considering that the Democrats uh, have so many seats in office now. Yeah, it's going to be a completely different ballgame, so I'm interested to see what's going on. Very interesting. Aubrey Russell is here with a preview of tonight's huge football game, and he's going to tell us what is coming up with this weekend in CSU sports. And he'll tell us why the CSU defense is going out of control on this play. 